everyone, and welcome to Niche. I am going to make a sandbox mode, Medium Island Rainforest series, and I'm just going to try to make a very interesting story. I hope it's interesting, and I hope you all like it. And this is my setting I've created. I've changed some things. I made the age really high because I didn't want them to die immediately because I never really had a reason to make a story. And I at made the primary configuration a little longer so I can't overbreed and starve all of them to death. <laughs> I changed their genes just a little bit. I made sure they wouldn't have any blind eyes or anything recessive. And I gave this one a red and black pattern and this one I didn't change at all. That's the only thing I did with this one. Gameplay settings, food, I'm sucking at, because I suck at that, I'm going to leave the next thing material the same, and I'm going to unlock all genes, because, hear me out here, I'm going to try to make a story, not a survival thing. Sure, there's going to be some survival aspects, but that's just going to add to the story, isn't it? I'm not going to have any defender bears. Because those are so annoying. You cannot defend yourself from rogues. You can't do anything. There's no win conditions. I don't know how to do that. But everything else, except for this, I haven't changed these. I haven't changed these. Okay. Multiply the healing powder than the general. I'm just gonna multiply it by one more. Uh, yeah, no, two, two, two. Okay. Now, now that we have YouTube, we have our rainforest. Or do I want to do something else, like Jungle Gate, maybe? Killer Island? Deep Jungle? Hard Island? Medium Island? Rainforest, yeah. Rainforest will work. But what if there's... Yeah, Rainforest should work. Here we go! Now let's get started! I don't really know what the niche things are going to be, so let's hope they look cool! And they don't have any horrible genes! Because <laughs> I didn't disable anything like that, so. Let's hope this works! Come on, come on! By the way, I tried recording this five times only! But what the? Web time legs! <laughs> and look at you, Kiro! Oh my god, a bat wing! And look at this beautiful area. Keep in mind, they might not always stay at the jungle. I don't know why suddenly I had this accent. But, wow, look at this area. I love the jungle of Island. I also love the snow, but it's so hard to survive there. You just have to avoid the red flags and stuff like that here. Well, there's the, there's the plants. I wonder if there's any termite hills. Let's check. Two, three, nothing nearby. But there is a stinky fruit tree, and a tree that could spawn the eight, so. Pumpkin! Oh my gosh. Oh, a nest! That's cool! Let's check to make sure their immune genes match up. Because I didn't really make sure. Okay. Oh, you have water body? You have water body, big body, and active. Possessive hind leg. Okay. You know what? Nope. Normal hind leg. Oh my gosh, it's so satisfying to see all these. Normal hind leg, normal hind leg, normal, normal, normal hind legs. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, I'm probably being blind right now. Aha! Uh, uh, uh -huh. Normal hind legs. And you? You know what? Oddly enough, you can move normal. But you have sticky tongue. Nimble pink. Wow! You're red with dark brown pattern, and you are a pumpkin now. I love pumpkin. Okay, so you're gonna do this. Perfect. Oh, that's it. that's a danger. These two are just going to start exploring. These two, I'm gonna say, are friends from a former tribe, and their tribes happen not to get along. Bats versus anti versus ant eaters, I want to say. Those two have similar food sources, so they probably didn't get along. Basically, Romeo and Juliet without um the death. Now let's move to the next day. She 
think I can give birth. Let's try now. Oh. Oh my gosh, that could have been bad. Oh my gosh, that could have been bad. That's why you had to use your senses. Oh my gosh, that could have been awful. He's probably going to run over here like, what the heck? Why didn't you sniff before you leave the pumpkin? Oh my gosh, that could have been bad. Oh gosh. So, I think I'm just going to move to the next day. And I'm going to try to get a good look at the one, hopefully. Okay. <gasps> Twins! Twins! First try! I did not eat- Oh my gosh! Okay, he's gonna jump back in shock. He's gonna like jump back in shock like, what the heck? Twins? How? And she's gonna just go to- Identical twins? Are they identical? They're identical twins. They're identical twins! Cool! She's gonna step off the nest. And she's just gonna be staring in shock like twins. Twins? She, she and Cyril are gonna be so shocked because I know I would be if we ran away, if I ran away, and the first thing that happened was, what buddy? You have a lean body, cool. If the first thing I saw was twins when I gave her. That would just be like, what? What? How? That would be shocking to say the least. Oh, okay, moving. Now these two can walk around. Oh, rain! Double nimble fingers. Oh, and you are gonna do this. You are gonna go here. And she's gonna, I think, gather the stinky fruit. Gather a few stinky, stinky fruits. Not gather that, so I don't want it to regrow. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, she's fine. And she's probably gonna say she's fine. They both jump back in shock, so that's probably just really confusing. So. We're gonna go to sleep. And something about these two just gives me the feeling of they're tricksters. No Duke and then Duke Girl. They're probably always gonna just mess with their parents and like, no, I'm no, I'm Van Duke Fruit. No, I'm no Duke. Dude, that's probably just gonna be, make their parents so always confused. Yeah, probably gonna put up with these two. And she's probably just gonna be like, uh, getting food. I'm sorry, I'm bad at this, everyone. She's gonna be like, well, let's try again and hope we don't get twins again. She's gonna be like, but food. Hmm? You want? Know no stories. If I see a story unveloping, I'll tell it. But I'm so bad at storytelling. <laughs> but look, they're like a <gasps> I don't even know what to name these two. Oh, I want to name them some sort of like... Um, how about... I don't know. I have no clue. So. And they... I'm gonna hop into the nest. Look around. Make sure there's nothing in danger. Then go into the nest. No Duke Duke is gonna gather some nuts. And hop and look if there's anything in the water. Because there is water here. That's why the part of the reason I wanted to do something like this. In case they wanted to become water creatures. And no Duke and Kiro, I mean, is going to sniff around first, and then start exploring. And Van Duke Duke is gonna start eating food. Oh my gosh, I want a fishy tail or something, or claw or something. I'm surprised neither of them were born with that one though. And let's see. Oh my gosh, spots galore! Oh my gosh, no Look at those orange spots! <laughs> Brown pattern? I don't think that's brown. Oh. Ignore that in the corner. Maybe you can see it. 
I'm not doing good. It's gonna be like another life spot now. He's probably just gonna hop over here and remove that and get more food. This one's gonna gather nuts and more berries. And this one is probably going to wander away over here and sniff here and go over here. And then they're probably gonna wander into the forest looking for a place to settle outside of there, even though that's a really good spot. I wonder where their family's gonna go to next once they finish exploring the island. Are they gonna go to a harder jungle? Are they gonna go to a more peaceful area if they get overrun by apes? Or maybe they'll head to the snow. Where's that a whale? I can never tell. I hope it's a whale, actually. That would be awesome. Maybe we'll get bird wings. Because. Well, then again, I did unlock all the zines. I'm always gonna forget that. He's gonna be like, dude, fun, is he terrible? For some reason, I have a feeling, even though he has a tiny mouth, like a little fat mouth, I bet it will be hard, hard to scream and yell and try to yell as out of this. So he'll probably be very stern, and when he raises his voice, even slightly, they listen. <laughs> I have a hunch that that pumpkin would be the loud one, but the kindest. He would probably be more like, please, no Duke, are you crazy? You could have got bunked on the head with a uh, coconut. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking of bird wing, speaking of bird wing, is that bird wing or bat wing? That's, I can't tell. Hey you. That's bird wing. Uh, taco. Anna Taco? Yeah, Anna Taco. Hemophilia and the immunity? Is she a good match for anyone? No. No, not really. How about you? How about you, Candy? You're not a good match for anyone. Toxic body? Ugh. Alright. You were eating berries, weren't ya? Oh, you're a fisher. You thought you are a fisher. He's gonna probably say, oh, sorry, I was trying to pick the berries because I was hungry. Look at that beautiful pattern, actually. And little no, no clue, he's probably gonna go say hi to the new stranger, like, hello, where are you? And then he's probably just gonna clear the area, like, okay, let's hope no, no one else comes popping in for a hello. There's a bun over there. He's probably gonna keep gathering the food, probably try to crack a nut, and she's probably gonna keep gathering food. They live so long, and she's gonna probably pop over to her mate after sniffing for a bit. Say, so who was that? And this lady has hemophilia. Hemophilia? I, I have a hard time pronouncing things. So I'm gonna give. She, was, she seems like a fighter and a fisher. Wait, how much strength does she have? Four strength and two fishing? She cannot gather anything? Yes, good strength. Smelling could be better though. Like she's the only one with a quote unquote normal snoot. <laughs> so she would probably want, I don't know, maybe not bleach that. Considering she's lived here for, 70, she's 17 days old. How old are, how old are my main friends? Uh, 14. She's older than all of them, so she was probably born and raised on this island. She probably knows how to survive and how not to die if the apes come. She's probably not going to mention them, hoping that they never even come. Kind of like, if you don't say their names and don't step on the twigs, hopefully they won't come. Because they would rain terror on this island. And I think it's time to say goodnight for this day. Bandu girl, he's probably gonna come over here and say, hello, who are you? I haven't seen you around before. And she's gonna be like, mm, well, I knew she could try back to this. I've never been here before. Let's open your plant back. 
Oh, there's a nest over here, though. That's that's fun. Oh, and mud at the side of your scent. That's helpful. And this little milk dude is probably gonna waddle over here. He's probably gonna be like, oh, let's try for our girl this time. And I just realized I didn't give her bat wings because if she already has it, I could probably just give her bat wings. She's gonna try to glide over here and maybe gather some of those. Once it gets down to one, no more gathering of those, though. We do not want to have any trouble on our paws, I guess you could say. Ooh, berry bush. Is it a plastic one? No, it's just a normal berry bush. And you can dig. And you can go over here. There's a lot of rocks over here. Can we get a berry in these things? I'm gonna wait until we find a baby bear, you know, to insert any of the varinas in here. Just to make it a little more fair, because the only reason I have that is for story purposes. Pur pur purposes. I cannot speak English sometimes. For some reason, I'm very bad. Maybe she would want some for children that have scorpion tail, I wonder. Let's have one let's have her have one more child to wait and see. Is that done? Is that one done? Yep. Let's see. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot I made it two days. <laughs> She's gonna gather some more food. She's gonna oh wow, the disappointment. And Nokto is gonna gather more food. She is gonna say, Hey, I found a nest! Give a little holler and probably just nestle there. Try to crack that net and unfortunately fail. And little Van is probably gonna be like, well, hey. Oh, we have a duck stick. Hey, what you have over here? Oh, a nest. Cute. I think the younger these things are probably gonna not find anything to the her Because, well, I think she would want to pass on bird. That but it did the wing to her child. Because she already has one, she would probably want the child to be able to fly through the sky. Maybe that's why she was banned from her tribe. Because she couldn't fly like the rest of them. Maybe she was outside her ball? Hmm, that's an interesting question. <laughs> Maybe we'll see her story unravel. Oh, you know, she's gonna pop up here and say, ooh, and that, ooh, a tree. She's gonna kick the tree and just like explore some more smell to make sure there's nothing. Oh, 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 another knee swing. Hey, you. Fishing tail, what the? Hey, guys. Oh, gosh. They're probably gonna scream, hey, I smell someone. And they're gonna probably be like, everyone's gonna be like, wait, what? She's gonna see a bunnel. She's gonna, do you have another attack? No, you do not. Everyone's gonna probably be like, get her! Everyone's gonna be trying to find her and find out where she is. She's eating her, uh, an albino knee sling? Rakala. 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 She has, oh wow, she is interesting. No pattern, she's partially. Wow, she's albino. I, <laughs> she probably was running, she was probably, I saw it from her chat. Keep in mind, this is the jungle. Pumpkin's probably gonna be like, hey, wait, I just wanna, I just wanna make sure you're okay. And then, the no duke is probably gonna walk over here and be like, wait. Ugh. She's gonna be like, oh, come on. We just need, we just want to make sure you're okay. And then she's going to be like, oh, I'm sorry. I, I had to run. I, I, I think I have like a sore thumb here. I hate it. <sighs> I was banished from the tribe because I wasn't in my tribe because I wasn't very useful. I couldn't provide anything except for occasional bundle meat. And that's only because of my normal medium body and my animal. 
And I feel like I have like a sore thumb here. I, I always feel so exposed. And this doesn't help that I have one in Burial Tree. I wish I had more fertile. So they wouldn't have kicked me out. Cause that was the final straw. And I think the Eastern gods will smile upon her and offer her children normal fertility. She doesn't have high fertility, so I'm not going to give her that. But she does have normal fertility. So I'm going to offer her that. She's going to be like, God, oh, I feel like this is so be enough. And then whispers of the tree all along. She's, she's probably going to be like, oh, and oh, uh, too exposed, too exposed. She's probably going to be a very skittish snake shark. Always wanting to run and hide in grasses when it's available. Because she look at her. She's an albino nation. She would stick out like a sore thumb. See, she would only be gray fur even when she even if she didn't have albino. Yeesh, and albino's been gonna be in her tribe for a while. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, I feel like she's important somehow. Like she has such a unique trait, like savannah horns. Those would normally lock in hot climates, but then she has fishing tail. She has fishing tail dominant and then stinky tail recessive and webbed hind legs. It's like she's a mix of the savannah and what? It's like she's from the oasis. And she was kicked out of, and the tribe migrated here and she was given birth to. Huh. Oddly enough. Something about her. I don't know what it is. And she's from. Okay, and Anakaho. And you know what? No, I'm gonna. Let me have a turnip for some reason. Why don't we name you Turnip? Don't ask me why. He just reminds me of Turnip. Of a Turnip. Turnip. turnip? me of a rat, either a radish or a turnip. So you're going to be radish, because those are easier to say. Radish. Please forgive my spell. Radish. -ish? Radish. -ish? Yeah, rad radish. -ish. And turnip it. Sorry, I had to make it look at least a little bit like new slang names. <laughs> turnip it. That's fun to say. Turnip it. Turnip it. Turnip it. Bip. Oh, sorry everyone. Crack that nut. I think she's gonna be like, ooh, mud. And just roll the mud. She's gonna be like, uh, okay then. I think she's gonna be soft spoken, but not necessarily skittish. Like. Raka. Raco. Rocola. Rocola. I gotta remember that's her name. Rocola there. Is everyone done? No? You still need to gather your berries? I think we're gonna pass the day. He's gonna be like, wait, uh, wait. He's gonna probably run over to make sure she's okay. Like, are you sure you're okay? That must have been a horrible experience, having your tribe kick you out. And she'll be like, yeah, oh, I love this. Uh, a leech. He's gonna probably just swat at her, that leech with her fishing tail and catch it with her nimble fingers. And probably impress the tribe. Probably be like, the tribe would probably be impressed by that. Like, hmm, for the first time we've ever seen a leech do that. She would probably love her ability to collect and stuff. And Rocola and Radish ish Radish ish would probably be like, hmm. Yes, but they would only have nimble finger babies. <laughs> Let's see, I think she would want considering we couldn't get past all the foliage to get to her in time. To make sure she was alright, considering she was quite white. And that's normally a sign of weakness in the dungeon. I'm pretty sure he would have wanted claw in all honesty. I think he would have wanted claw. If I can find it. <laughs> oh, so he could get through the foliage easier. I must have been frustrating for radish. -ish. I think they're gonna have a bond. I don't know what about it, but I think they're gonna have a bond. And little on a top. 
Is that an A or an O? Anaaka. Anataka. Anataka. I'm just gonna name her Ana Ana because it's easier to say. Ana Ana. Anna Anna? No. Ana Ana. Anna Anna. Ana Ana? Of either or. How about. Oh, I know! How about. Ah! Look at No. Ah. Ah, dub. 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 I think maybe she just reminds me of a dub. Like with her soft fucking nature and how she always oh, seems to want the best of people. So we're probably like starting to walk away, then you're some rustling bushes like they look at each other like Did you hear that? And then she, considering she has more strength, would jump forward and be like, Whoa! What are you? She would totally sling messing material at it out of fear and then snip it would probably run over like, who are you? Who or what are you? And they would probably just be looking at him like it is shock and probably fear because of those eyes. <laughs> and then Hero would probably go to Pumpkin like, ah, oh, this chaos. Like this chaos, isn't that right, darling? Yeah. Oh, I think it's time for me to give birth. She'd probably hop off the nest, gather two more of those things, and get ready to never pick them again. <laughs> and then Hugo probably be gathering the berries, make sure they don't run out of food, that's right, they're gonna live a long time, and let's see the baby. Another book! Did you hear that? Maybe that was the. Wait. Oh, that's cute. She's gonna be like another boy? Yeesh. I. Do you have good immunity? For anyone? Andy? Andy. Oh my gosh, that's it. No, Jean. A. Every single child in this tribe has A immunity. How about D immunity? And ever. Oh my gosh! Hero! Pumpkin! Please! Pass on a B or C immunity for Pete's sake! And Dubby, you have. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Really? She would probably be. The... Unfortunately, I think you're gonna be very pop. I think she's gonna start feeling more comfortable and attack the bundle, like, she's probably hungry after all that walking. And Radishish, with his calm-hearted nature, is probably going, going to stump a little because of the slippery rain and hop over and collect that meat for her. <laughs> and pumpkin. Oh yeah, the more sneaky fruit. Well, her son, Naku. Naku, I mean. Noku? Noku. It's hard for me to tell on the screen. Is going to try to dig up the bird, and he did. He's probably going to ask his mom, or what's with all the, what's with all the new female nation? Like, what's with that albino nation and the feather one? I've never seen a feather nation before. He's probably going to start wandering over back to the tribe out of confusion and being startledified. And this one's probably gonna just gather some nesting material. I mean, gather some nuts, and then two, three, make sure there's no. Oh, fish! And I think she's gonna wander over here where there's shallow enough water where she fish. She doesn't have water bottle after all. But I have hunched here the craving for fish almost all the time. She's wearing that fishing tail and web behind legs or something. And web behind legs. And burp? Because that's still so interesting to me. Was she really? I wonder, I wonder if Rakala, Rakala, Rokola, Rokola, and Dubby, Dubby, 
stuff on earlier. Dovey, our distant cousin. <laughs> because look, she has white fur. She also has white fur, just hidden because it's inactive. But the thing is, they both. Oh, you have hemophilia. They both have some whole form of hemophilia. And they both have low normal fertility. Wow, what if they are cousins? And just have different immunity genes because, well, families tend to have different genes. That would be interesting. I see a story on that one. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they Oh, I can I can't forget about little Kira. This is water body nest. He's probably gonna try to hop into the water. Because he loves the water, I bet, because of his water body ancestry. They should have some sort of water insect that can float on the surface and only eat things with water body and can you sneak up on them enough to because they could probably move two spaces at a time unless you're underwater with them. That'd be so fun. I think we're gonna do one more day and then and then see what it takes us. What? You have a leech. You have a leech. Uh, well, good thing Rakosa is gonna start wandering. Ah! Wandering over here and she's gonna be like, ah! And fall backwards on her butt. <laughs> and Radishish, all gonna hear her scream, be like, whoa, whoa, are you okay? And she's gonna, he's gonna see that and be like, ah! And then his brother is gonna be like, hey, dude, leech. He's probably gonna remove the leech first to prevent the bleeding from running. Anyway. And right after she's gonna be like, oh. Probably gonna be like, relax, it's harmless, it hasn't attacked at me yet, so don't worry about it. He's probably gonna be smell with his nose and start gathering the berries. Or revealing it, I mean. For some reason, I feel like there's a love story between those two. <laughs> because of their clumsy nature. I have a feeling both of them are very clumsy. Like, her with her skittishness constantly makes her stumble a little. And him with his nose falls and make it very hard, easy to see. Along with his big stinky tail behind him. Oh, come on. Mm -mm. Big stinky tail behind him. Whoops, that doesn't work. But no, with this one, I think she is just gonna be like, oh, okay, a little prino, and you think it's good. He's gonna help get the scent off his mom. Walk away and keep gathering the berries. And Kiro is gonna be like, let's try for a girl this time. We need girls in this try. She's like, definitely. And she would travel. Okay, I'm gonna do two, I'm gonna do two more days. I'm sorry, this is a long episode. I'm just so excited. We got it that. Touchy that plant and don't touchy the plant. And you, yeah, Andy, you have no chance of finding a mate here, do you? They're probably gonna wander over here. No, there's nothing dangerous here. So you're probably gonna just hop in here and say, hey, there's clams and fish over here if anyone can try to get them. And then we're just gonna. What takes hold over here? I'm sorry if I'm more soft spoken here, but let's see what happens over here. Oh. Oh! He just got booped on the head. He's probably like, brother! And he's like, sorry, 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 here. And he's probably gonna go right back to picking batteries. Berry, berry, berries. And she's gonna be like, so he's not a bat? We probably shouldn't pick that nut up, shall we? He's just always gonna shake his snot in the middle. Oh my gosh, look at his angry face. He looks like an angry bird. At from his angle. Me, 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 me. He's probably gonna be me. I have a hunch these two. This is love well, story right on. Well, like, um, they're probably gonna be so shy about it, but let's see. No, he's gonna be like, huh? And then he's probably gonna be like, hey, wait, did you mean? And that got it through. And considering the fact. Oh my gosh, look! A tree trunk! Hey, you! 
Come over here. Maybe you can find a mate. Or someone else useful. Hopefully a female, dang it. And you are going to keep picking your berries. Keep trying to crack that nut. And she is going to do it. Do it. And do it. And then her son is going to do it. Now, that's not too funny. No. He's probably going to try to do this and try to catch the raid arena. And fail, unfortunately. But let's see what happens over here. He's probably going to be like, oh, a tree trunk? And start singing her little heart out. Another one? Oh my gosh. You need to get that off now. And a baby girl! <laughs> baby girl with white hind legs and battling! Finally! Do you have anything that's helpful? D and D? A and A? Oh my gosh! What's with D immunity? It's just really easy to spread or something? I bet it is. Who got a leech? Again? He's probably gonna say, guys, I need help. He's probably gonna hop over to his son and like, help me. Hop here, considering that if he hops under the tree, he might get bopped, and then he's going to... <laughs> oh my god. She's probably gonna run around in joy and then hop into the nest. Okay, let's see what baby that has that counted right. She's gonna gather some berries, try to feed from the bottom. His brother's gonna hop over and do the same. And hop over with his new snake, Radishes. Anyone else? You little one, you're gonna hop over here. She try to explore some more. Anyone else? Nope. See what kind of baby you have, shall we? Oh, a little rampart child. So cute. She saw F and A immunity. Oh, that's so help F and A. B and D. Yes. That's gonna be helpful. Oh my gosh, another pet no. I guess it rained a lot in the rainforest, but it should have been that stuff thing, but I think we'll continue this story next time. I hope you've all enjoyed this little story I've come up with came up with. Well I can come up with it. You guys know what I mean. I hope you all enjoyed and maybe I'll and hopefully I'll see you all next time. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next time. Bye my little lady bye.